Welcome back for day 69. Today I learned and practiced the basic techniques of the pedal steel volume pedal. The volume pedal is another key element to the sound of a pedal steel guitar. It doesn't change the pitch like the other pedals do, but it is crucial to an emotional sound. The abilities to soften the pick attack by swelling into notes and chords and sustaining tones while they fade out are huge expressive advantages that we pedal steel players have. Volume dynamics draw the listener in as you're asking them to pay attention as you speak at different levels, using the pedal to emphasize or hide your musical idea. One prominent example of the relationship between volume fluctuation and emotional draw is the dynamic range, so the softest to loudest sounds, in classical music. Songs like Symphony No. 5 in C-sharp minor by Gustav Mahler reveal how important the volume pedal is on pedal steel guitar. Listening to hear how the great composers use volume dynamics to create moods and feelings gives pedal stealers the chance to work emotions into their playing. Initially, in this part of Paul Franklin's pedal steel course, there's no camera shot of his volume pedal on purpose. He initially hides any shots of his volume pedal to encourage beginners to use their ears at first to hear what the pedal is doing and notice how they perceive the music being played. Paul suggests trying to connect the emotions you feel with what the pedal is doing as a listener of the instrument. Then, as a player, when you want to invoke that feeling, you will have practiced it and it will be free to use without even thinking about it. Paul and other pedal steel players use the volume pedal to alter pick attack and add dynamic expression to their playing. In combination with good pick hand dynamics, hard and soft, bright and dark, the volume pedal offers a huge palette of color with which to paint any musical masterpiece. Therefore, a beginner like myself can't ignore it or dismiss it as unnecessary. As Paul suggested in the vibrato lessons from my Day 65 video, he recommends listening to singers like Vince Gill and Wendy Moten and saxophone and trumpet players like Chris Potter and Miles Davis to hear how they use volume changes to add expression to their note choices. Basic volume pedal technique is simple. Simply put, you back off the volume pedal before striking the notes and swell to the intended volume. Two main volume pedal focuses I'm going to continue to practice are softening the pick attack and trying to keep the volume level even as the note naturally fades away. Both can be practiced by trying to time your swells so they land on the one downbeat at first, then you can target other beats in the bar. Paul recommends this practice and tells players to slow it down until they can do it perfectly. Melding the mechanics and the emotion is the initial challenge of this instrument, so there's so much value in taking your time with it. It's important to incorporate the volume pedal into a practice routine at all times. Practicing the exercises expressively will make your music and my music sound better. From what I've learned, making even the most basic exercise interesting and musical using the volume pedal seems to go a long way as a pedal steel player. This kind of mindful practice prepares beginners for the real world where they'll be asked to accompany singers and other instrumentalists with great feeling and expression. Thanks for checking out day 69. I have a surprise for tomorrow's video, so make sure you come back to find out what it is. And as always, play every day.